Hello everyone, my name is Gaurav, Gaurav Singh and today I am here to tell you something about virtualization as it, as it is written out there. So, what is virtualization? Virtualization is a technique to transform hardware into a software. Basically, this is a means by which we can, you know, decouple a software from a hardware. You know, like uh, creating a virtual version of something rather than creating a physical version. So, is there a fayda kya hoga? Abhi tak jo hamari applications aati thi x86, uh, you know, this x, oh my god. This was our x86 architecture. The problem with this was it does not support more than one application per server. So it means that if you have a small business, hai, you need to have that much number of servers as many as there are applications. Hongi. Be it DNS, be it DHCP, domain controller, any you know SQL or any application, you need one server per application the problem was it was highly inefficient by any means of measure hardly 10 to 15 percent was occupied you know the efficiency was very less and you know the cost the pricing they were very high because it cost at least 10 lakhs Indian rupees to buy a server with all the setup, HB card and all that stuff. What virtualization did is that, I'm only talking about server virtualization right now. So virtualization can be of many types. It can be a desktop virtualization, application virtualization, network, storage virtualization, you know, many of, but primarily I'm talking about server virtualization only, right? So what it did is that, it uses something called binary translation I am putting it in caps because this is something which changed the world when we talk about full virtualization what exactly the binary translation is I will tell you in a, in, a, in a next session but right now just remember the word binary translation this is the player by which we efficiently virtualize our servers and now we can run multiple servers on a single hardware so when you are using multiple servers multiple workloads on the same hardware easily you can optimize the resources and now we can run up to 80 to 90 percent or even sometimes even more crossing up to 100 percent compute resources and have a full optimized servers running in our data center efficiently so it saves us dollars it saved you know carbon footprint and now we have you know efficient data centers more intelligent data centers with very limited you know people to your know, manage it so this is the next thing in coming there are better things like cloud computing, but the heart of cloud is virtualization. I'll be mainly talking about VMware. Oops. I'm talking about VMware virtualization, server virtualization. And it's called vSphere. There are multiple other virtualization as well, like KVM, oops, KVM, we have Oracle VM, we have what else? We have Hyper-V, we have Citrix, Zen Server, and many others. But market leader is VMware by miles and far. So this is what we'll be talking about in next sessions. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. Thank you.